Master time management and unleash productivity. Elevate your life with expert strategies and deep work. Welcome back to the Information for Life podcast, where today we dive deep into the secrets of making the most out of your time and boosting your productivity. In today's episode, we will be discussing tips for improving your time management skills and productivity while citing some of the most influential sources in the field. So please sit back, relax, and let's get started. Time management is a crucial skill that can dramatically impact your life. The better you can manage your time, the more you can accomplish in a given day, ultimately improving your productivity. Today, we'll explore some tips from experts that can help you elevate your time management game. Tip number one, set SMART goals. One of the first steps in improving your time management skills is to set SMART goals. SMART is an acronym that stands for Specific, Measurable, Achievable, Relevant, and Time-Bound. George T. Duran developed this framework in the early 1980s, and it has since been widely adopted as a best practice for goal setting, Duran, 1981. By setting SMART goals, you create a clear roadmap for your tasks and priorities, making it easier to allocate your time and resources effectively. Remember to regularly review and adjust your goals as needed to maintain focus and motivation. Tip number two, prioritize tasks. It is important to prioritize tasks according to their importance and urgency. This concept was popularized by Dwight D. Eisenhower, the 34th president of the United States, and is now known as the Eisenhower Matrix. The matrix consists of four quadrants, which helps you categorize tasks based on urgency and importance, allowing you to prioritize effectively. Covey, 1989. By using the Eisenhower matrix, you can ensure that you're dedicating your time to the most critical and valuable tasks, ultimately improving your productivity. Tip number three, break tasks into smaller steps. Breaking tasks into smaller, more manageable steps can help you maintain momentum and make steady progress. This concept was introduced by David Allen in his book, Getting Things Done. Allen, 2001. Allen suggests that breaking tasks into smaller actions reduces the mental burden and resistance associated with complex tasks, making it easier to get started and stay focused. Tip number four, use time management tools. Various time management tools and techniques are available to help you stay organized and on track. One popular method is the Pomodoro technique developed by Francesco Cirillo in the late 1980s. Cirillo, 2006. This technique involves working in focused 25-minute intervals called Pomodoros, followed by a short break. After completing four Pomodoros, take a more extended break to recharge. Experiment with different tools and techniques to find what works best for your personal preferences and workflow. Tip number five, establish routines. Establishing routines can help you create consistency and predictability in your daily schedule. In his book, The Power of Habit, Charles Duhigg emphasizes the importance of routines in improving productivity and overall well-being. Duhigg, 2012. By creating morning, workday, and evening routines, you can better manage your time and reduce decision fatigue. To wrap up, improving your time management skills and productivity is an ongoing process that requires self-reflection, goal setting, and experimentation with different techniques. By setting SMART goals, prioritizing tasks, breaking them into smaller tasks, Using time management tools and establishing routines, you'll be well on your way to making the most of your time and maximizing your productivity. Let's quickly recap the tips we've discussed so far today. Set SMART goals to create a clear roadmap for your tasks and priorities. Prioritize tasks using the Eisenhower matrix to focus on the most critical and urgent tasks. Break tasks into smaller steps to reduce the mental burden and maintain momentum. Use time management tools like the Pomodoro technique to stay organized and on track. Establish routines to create consistency and predictability in your daily schedule. Remember, time management and productivity improvement are lifelong journeys and staying open to new ideas and strategies is essential. Continuously refining your approach will allow you to adapt to new challenges and consistently perform at your best. Now we're going to explore the concept of deep work as introduced by Cal Newport in his book, Deep Work, Rules of Focused Success in a Distracted World, Newport, 2016. We'll discuss the benefits of deep work, strategies to cultivate it, and tips for incorporating it into your daily routine. Let's dive in. So what exactly is deep work? 
Cal Newport defines deep work as the ability to focus without distraction on a cognitively demanding task. Newport, 2016. It's a state of flow where you can produce high-quality work in less time. In contrast, shallow work involves tasks that require little concentration or creative thinking, like checking emails or attending meetings. Now that we understand the concept of deep work, let's explore its benefits and why it's so essential in today's world. Increased productivity. You can accomplish more in less time by engaging in deep work. The focused, distraction-free environment allows you to rapidly progress on complex tasks, resulting in greater overall productivity. Enhanced creativity. Deep work fosters creativity by fully immersing yourself in the task at hand. This immersion encourages the formation of new connections and insights, leading to innovative solutions and ideas. Improved learning. Deep work promotes learning by enabling you to concentrate on mastering new skills and absorbing information more effectively. Personal and professional growth. Embracing deep work can accelerate your career growth by helping you develop valuable skills, complete high-impact projects, and stand out from the competition. Now that we've established the importance of deep work, let's discuss some strategies for cultivating it in your daily routine. Strategy number one, schedule dedicated blocks of time for deep work. Designate specific time periods for engaging in deep work and protect those blocks from distractions and interruptions. For example, reserve two hours each morning for focused work on your most important tasks. Strategy number two, create a conducive environment. Design a workspace that encourages deep work by minimizing distractions and providing a comfortable, quiet setting. Consider using noise-canceling headphones or listening to ambient music to help you maintain focus. Strategy number three, establish rituals and routines. Create rituals and routines that signal the start and end of deep work sessions. These rituals could include a brief meditation, a specific playlist, or a specific physical setup for your workspace. Strategy number four, set clear goals and expectations. Before beginning a deep work session, set clear goals and expectations for what you want to accomplish. This clarity will help you maintain focus and motivation throughout the session. Strategy number five, disconnect from technology. Reduce the temptation to engage in shallow work by disconnecting from technology during deep work sessions. Turn off notifications, close irrelevant browser tabs, and put your phone in do not disturb mode to minimize interruptions. By implementing these strategies, you'll be well on your way to embrace deep work and reaping its numerous benefits. Remember, you must be patient with yourself as you develop the skill. Deep work is a practice that requires time and effort to cultivate, but the rewards are well worth it. As we wrap up today's episode, let's recap the strategies we've discussed for cultivating deep work in your daily routine. Schedule dedicated blocks of time for deep work. Create a conducive environment. Establish rituals and routines. Set clear goals and expectations and disconnect from technology. As you work on incorporating deep work into your routine, remember that everyone's approach will be different. Experiment with various strategies to find the best combination for your unique work style and preferences. Now, we'd like to hear from you. Share your tips, experiences, and questions about time management and productivity by contacting us on social media or emailing our podcast inbox at askinformationforlife at gmail.com. We're always eager to learn from our listeners and share valuable insights with our community. Thank you again for tuning in to the Information for Life podcast. Sources for this podcast are in the description. We appreciate your support and look forward to helping you make the most of your time and navigating your world. Our next episode is a special request from someone else, so be sure to tune in. Until next time, stay productive, and remember, every minute counts. 